When you feel like something is wrong, it probably is. Yesterday evening, I had a spiritual attack. I wouldn't say attack, but it was a spiritual event, you know? Um, I had gone home from a day and I was about to start relaxing at the end of the night and something just felt off. Like, just physically, like, nothing was wrong, but like spiritually, something was wrong. And it felt like anxiety and it kept getting bigger and bigger the longer I dragged it on. And I was starting to like almost freak out because I was like, what is going on? I was like texting my family and like, is everybody good? Because something just didn't feel right and I couldn't put my finger. I'm like, maybe I'm tweaking. Maybe I'm just in my head or I'm stressing something out. Let me calm down. And I usually do my devotions like at nighttime. So I'll go outside. I'll go outside. I'll just do this real quick. So I step out. I do them. And, you know, it's good. And. The, the feeling kind of subsides, but it's still like there in the back of my brain. So I'm praying to God. I'm going over one by one by one. Just like, what's going on? I'm praying for my family, for myself. And it's like, ah. So I, I finish the devotion. I come inside, but it's like, mm. it comes back. And it feels like almost overwhelming. I'm just like, I feel like something was waiting for me. Like going ready to attack me or just sitting there. Like it was just nearby. And I was like, ah. What is it? I couldn't think of it, but then I remembered, I, it was on TikTok. It was talking about monitoring spirits, which are, you know, spirits or demons that observe you and get information on you so they can use it against you in the future. And I was like, uh, maybe it's that. So I go back to God, we pray about it. And after I have a good prayer for a few minutes, it's gone. Not only is like the feeling, but like the watching, like everything, the, the peace of my heart was just there. I felt nothing but peace. And it was really important because it was talk, um, a few other guys in the Bible that talks about having the armor of God, the importance of scripture and truth. And even when Jesus was tempted in the wilderness, he didn't just use words. He came back with scripture and, you know, prayer. And he it was when he was vulnerable. And I guess... All of this is to say, like, when you feel something's wrong, don't just brush it off as, you know, anxiety. Like, go to God. Because remember, we, as Christians, our battle is not against flesh and blood, excuse me, but it's a spiritual battle. So we're removing things that we can't see, things that are trying to set us up, that are watching and hoping to fail. And praise God that I was able to have some discernment and address that before whatever happens, happens, you know? So be on guard, you know, equip the full armor of God. I think that's one of my devotions right now. And it's, it was just really prevalent about being discernment, being yoked in the spirit, having that spiritual awareness to just tell. And I'm thankful I am because it, it just shows progress and growth. But I'll say that to somebody else too. Be tapped in with God, be tapped in within the spirit. And when you feel and like, it's not like you you know when you know there's like a difference between like anxiety and like that feeling when something's just not right. You know what I mean? Like there's a demon, there's evil. Our souls know it. When you feel that, go to God, pray and have scripture on lock. This is encouragement, not to stress you, but to encourage you. I haven't posted back here in a while, so I hope this helps. You enjoy the rest of your now morning.